12 News is your election headquarters and the race is on to election day. Today, even on a Sunday, we found tons of people at Jefferson County polling places. Some of that turnout came from churches. Pastors encouraged their congregations to move from the pews to the polls. 12 News reporter Cameron Seibert heard from voters and some of the candidates today, Cam. Yeah, Jordan, this is the final week of early voting and people are fired up about some of the local races, but national issues are also at the front of people's minds. Everything from abortion rights to inflation and the economy. It's peak election season in Jefferson County. The intensity cranked up with less than 10 days left to vote. As Americans, it's our duty. For Amanda Hunter, it's serious. No matter who you vote for, it's our right, it's our responsibility. This Sunday, along with faith, pastors were pushing congregants to the polls. Then many people suffered and died so that you'd have the right to vote, and therefore to not vote is really insulting to the people uh, that gave their lives to give you this freedom. Bye-bye. The race for Jefferson County Judge front and center, both candidates at the polls on Sunday. I think I'm a top-notch administrator, and that's what the county needs. The county needs a new administrator administrator that uh, has some common sense uh, solutions and that's what I want to bring to the table. I've been at the county for 16 years and I've been the county judge for 12 years. Been working the entire time for what I thought was in the best interest of the community and hopefully that uh, proves to be true. Voters are focused on a list of topics. Abortion rights, gun rights, border security and the economy. Control the borders and uh, control the crime rate and decrease the inflation at the national level? Well, probably more than anything is the governor's race. Uh, I am a Beto uh, supporter. I do like uh, that he's for a woman's choice. And so for me as a woman, that's important. Democrat or Republican, they all agree on one thing. It is a duty to be able to get out and vote. It's very important. That's the only way I can express myself. And we're looking now at some of the numbers from early voting so far. As of Saturday, more than 26,000 people have casted a vote in Jefferson County. It's on track compared to where we were in 2018 when more than 53,000 people voted early. Early voting continues until Friday. The polls in Jefferson County are going to be open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Plenty of time to get out there and vote. Cameron Seibert, 12 News.